These are the three common expressions that we must stop using it. Here is the shout out to the five quickest correct answers. Fancy words to use instead of this happy, good or bad. Let's go to the set quiz one solutions. Hi everyone, I am Sumaya from Sumaya's English Classroom. Welcome to my channel. Nobody likes anything that's really boring. We won't have the same interest to watch a movie at the second time or more than one time. There you lose the interest, right? The same boring feeling comes to us when we use a word more than one time. Today, let's see three most commonly used and boring words in English and let's see some alternatives that we can use instead of these words. Let's learn some super expressions in this video to make our speech rich. So let's get going. Listen to something boring, you lose the interest and you start yawning. In this video, let's see some yawning expressions and at the same time, let's see some super words that we can replace with. Here comes the first word. Oh my god, this is the most commonly used word. That's good. Always we use the same word, good. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, that's good. It's a good opinion. It's a good job. Good, 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 good. Oh, let's stop using it. Instead of using this word good, let's use this word pleasant. Okay, pleasant. For example, our room is pleasant and comfortable. Our room is pleasant and comfortable. It's pleasant to live in this beautiful world. Another word that we can use instead of good is delightful. Delightful. When we describe a person, normally we say like this. It's a good boy. It's a good lady. It's a good man. Here we can say, what a delightful boy he is. What a delightful boy he is. It's a delightful surprise. It's a delightful surprise. Our new neighbors are delightful. Our new neighbors are delightful. Another word that we can use instead of good, it's terrific. For example, when you comment on your friend's dressing style, you can say like this. You look terrific in this dress. You look terrific in this dress. Now let's go to the next boring word in English that is happy. Happy. Usually we say like this. I am so happy with this prize. I'm so happy to meet you. Like that, always using the same word to express the happy more that is happy, happy, happy. Okay, let's see another word instead of this word. One is elated. Elated. When you are simply happy, you can use the word happy. But when you win a trophy or when you were good selection after the interview, at that time you were so happy, right? At that time you can say like this. He was elated to get a new job. Or I am elated to get a new job. Another word is jubilant. It means so happy and in high spirits. The jubilant fans lifted their players upon their shoulders. Okay, at that time they were so, so, so happy. There we can use jubilant. And now we have seen two simple and super expressions instead of happy. One is elated, another is jubilant. And now let's go to the next boring word. It is bad. Bad is not a bad word, but when we all use it, it's so bad because there are alternatives let's see two expressions in this video one is awful awful meaning is just having a bad smell awful is used with something that smells bad for example i'm not eating any of that it looks and smells awful another fancy word that we can use is cheesy 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 is also used to say about something that smells bad. 
I'll give you a situation. When we hurried to office in our rainy weather, our feet, shoes and socks got wet. When they are wet, you get a bad smell piercing into your nose. So when you reach the office, they all got the same bad smell. So someone said, someone here has got a cheesy feet. Cheesy feet means feet has having a bad smell. Cheesy has the meaning of bad smell, cheap or low quality or fake. Another example, don't wear that shirt. It looks cheesy. It looks cheesy means it looks cheap. Now let's see it all together. Super expressions that we can use instead of good. Which are they? Pleasant, yes, delightful and terrific. Yes, of happy, elated and jubilant. Then of bare, awful and cheesy. Actually, there are hundreds of alternatives for these boring words. In this video, we have seen only super simple expressions that we can learn easily. Okay, dears, now let's see the correct answers of the last set quiz one. Here is the shout out to the five QKS correct answers. Then here comes set quiz 2. Today's set quiz asks you to write some simple sentences using these words that we have learned in this video. So frame simple simple sentences and leave it in the comment box quickly. Let me see, I'm eagerly waiting to get the winners. That's all for today. Let's see in the next video. If you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell icon to get more and more, more notifications. Okay, see you soon. Bye.